Welcome back to our channel, Book Lovers. In today's episode, we will dive into the deep sea of leadership and emotional intelligence as we explore primal leadership. Unleashing the Power of Emotional Intelligence by Daniel Goleman. Before we get into it, if you're new here, do consider subscribing to our channel. We talk about amazing books, inspiring authors, and key takeaways that could change your life. Daniel Goleman is a renowned psychologist an author who was often called the father of emotional intelligence. He's the man who brought the concept of emotional intelligence to the forefront of business and leadership discussions. With primal leadership, he uncovers the role of emotional intelligence in effective leadership. Now, let's get into the 10 key points from this book. 1. Leadership Resonance Leadership resonance is a key concept introduced by Goleman. He stresses, that leaders aren't just people who issue commands. They are people who create an emotional connection with their team, influencing their feelings and motivations. Leaders who are in tune with their emotions and the emotions of their team can create a positive environment, driving higher performance and greater satisfaction at work. 2. The Six Leadership Styles Goleman breaks down leadership into six styles, visionary, coaching, affiliative, democratic, paceting, and commanding. These styles are not exclusive. Instead, they represent different approaches that can be used in different situations. A versatile leader can switch between these styles as needed, fostering a more dynamic and adaptable team environment. 3. The Importance of Emotional Intelligence A pivotal theme of primal leadership is the significance of emotional intelligence in leadership. Emotional intelligence refers to our ability to understand and manage our emotions and the emotions of others. Leaders with high emotional intelligence can empathize with their teams, motivate them effectively, and handle conflicts more productively. 4. The Four Domains of Emotional Intelligence Bowman breaks down emotional intelligence into four domains, self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, and relationship management. He asserts that effective leaders are those who can understand and regulate their emotions, self-awareness and self-management, understand others' emotions, social awareness, and manage relationships effectively. 5. Neuroleadership. This book brings forward the concept of neuroleadership, combining neuroscience and leadership. Goleman explains how understanding the mechanisms of our brain can help leaders change their own behaviors and influence those of their team. It underlines the potential of empathy and undurst. 6. The Power of Positive Emotional Attractors, Peas Bowman elaborates on the concept of positive emotional attractors, such as a compelling vision or a supportive team culture, that can inspire and energize teams. By tapping into these PEA, leaders can foster a more positive, engaging work environment that motivates team members and drives performance. Said. Leadership Development. The book firmly establishes that leadership isn't a trait that one is born with, but rather, it's a skill that can be honed over time. Goleman offers strategies for improving emotional intelligence and leadership skills, encouraging readers to view leadership as a journey of continuous learning and growth. 8. The Role of a Coach. Goleman places a strong emphasis on the role of coaching in a leader's development. A good coach provides objective feedback guidance, and encouragement, helping leaders recognize their strengths and work on their weaknesses. 9. The Primal Task of Leadership According to Goleman, the primal task of a leader is to direct emotions in the right way. Effective leaders can inspire their teams, generate enthusiasm, and create an atmosphere of trust and cooperation, thereby driving teams to achieve their best. 10. The Cost of Poor Leadership Finally, Bowman outlines the potential cost of poor leadership. Leaders who lack emotional intelligence can create a toxic work environment, leading to disengaged employees, high turnover, and lower productivity. He argues that investing in leadership development can yield significant returns in terms of a more engaged workforce and a healthier, more productive work environment. Primal Leadership is an essential read for anyone interested in leadership, emotional intelligence, and organizational culture. It sheds light on how we can better understand ourselves and others, which can profoundly impact our workplaces and communities.
We've just scratched the surface of the insights packed into primal leadership. So we encourage you to pick up a copy and dive in. There's a treasure trove of wisdom to be found in its pages. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss any future videos from us. That's all for today's episode. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep turning those pages. See you in the next video.